Well, we watch After Dark. My name's Nathan, a.k.a. The Midnight Joker. And today, we're going to review Ocean's 13. It came out in 2007. It stars, of course, George Clooney, Brad Pitt, Matt Damon, and then... Elliot Glord, Al Pacino, Eddie Jimerson, Don Cleese, Shobo Wynn, Casey Affleck, Scott Kahn, Bernie Mac, Eddie Lizard, Carl Reiner, Ellen Barkin. And so it's a pretty star-studded event that we're looking at here. When, when we get back, uh, I'm going to go ahead and roll a trailer for you. So when we get back, we can talk about it. Um, but before I say the words, let me tell you that this was directed by, which all of them are directed by him, Steven Somberg. Anyway, let's go ahead and roll the trailer. And when we come back... I'll give you my thoughts. Roll. It's a reverse big store. Doesn't matter if we win, as long as the casino loses. Which means that we have to rig craps, blackjack, slots, and roulette. All in our favor. Jeez, could you make it any more complicated? Okay. <laughs> That's... Can't be done. We don't have the manpower. Or the time. Or a way in. You in yet? I hate that question. So who's going to be our super high roller? He owns all the air south of Beijing. The air. Try building something larger than three stories in the Tianjin province. See if his name comes up in your database then. All right, time for the starter's gun. Let me tell you what you don't want. Your hotel in a twisted heap of steel and glass. That's what you don't want. The nose plays. And the nose does play. The nose plays. It's great. It's huge. Great stuff. Thanks. If any of you try to break our deal, you'll be dead. <laughs> Pay me my money. <laughs> All you need to do is fill it. There are a couple of characters here I'm not too sure about. I know people who really know how to hurt. Well, I know all the guys that you'd hire to come after me. They like me better than you. You okay? Yeah, no, I just bit into a pepper. Is that? Hmm? Are you? Are you watching Oprah? Welcome back. Well, that looks fun, doesn't it? It is, and I really liked it. I'm going to go ahead and tell you, it's got a solid A, in my opinion. If you like uh, heist movies and the con was good, the the heist and all that, Danny Ocean comes out on top. So, I mean, it is an 11, I mean, an Ocean's uh, movie, and it is just as spectacular as the others. But if you've seen one, you get the gist. You know, people come together in certain ways. I really thought everybody had a great chemistry with each other. This was unfortunately uh, Bernie Max, uh, one, one of his last movies, August 9th, 2008, at the age of 50. Rest in peace, Mr. Bernie Mac. As of 2018, Steve Somberg's last feature shot entirely on film. With Al Pacino, Mr. Hoo-ha himself, uh, it only took three weeks for him to be on set and shoot. The line, you, sh you shook Sinatra's hand, is mentioned several times in the movie, is a reference to Frank Sinatra, who played Danny Ocean in the original Ocean's Eleven. The scene with the helip helipad at the end of the movie was actually shot on a lot in Warner Brothers. Uh, let's see here. Matt Damon, last line of dialogue is, I'll see you when I see you. A scene-ending line that also says, that he also says late in rounders. 
Brian Copeland or wrote both of these films. Okay. The Casino was on Warner Brothers lot. Uh, they did shoot the stuff. <laughs> Funny enough, Matt Damon was making The Bourne Ultimatum, I think, at the time. So he was in London, and they have this one part that is in London for his character. And so they shot it, well, you know, because it was like, a very simple thing, and they, they did it while they were out there, so that's kind of cool. Andy Garcia and Al Pacino were both in The Godfather 3. Of course, Al Pacino was in all The Godfathers. I'll say that the scenes that they had that were shot in Vegas uh, looked beautiful, the outside stuff. You know, even the part where everybody's running out of the casino that's on a Warner Brothers lot. Of course, Steve Somberg, he does a great directing job. On the other films, he kind of had a, we don't mention the Rat Pack or we don't mention Frank Sinatra. Steve Somberg wanted no references in the movies before this. But Frank Sinatra or the Rat Pack. He didn't use any music, any names. But this one, he decided to go ahead for the story's sake and make it a make it a thing. The interesting so, but in this movie, he not only had Frank Sinatra's name be brought up, but in town or this town uh, was one of the songs at the end with the fireworks. A very good, well ending, and I think you know, not saying anything until the. The third or the fourth, whatever it is, episode of this is awesome. I also think that everybody did a, a great job. The It was just entertaining. It's very entertaining. It gets a strong eight. I suggest go see it. it of course, if you never have. In the beginning, is a lot like the four o'clock movie that would come on in the morning uh, so, sometimes, and it had the same sequence, and they were, pl you know, it looked a look, it looked seventy ish, and how seventy things would be styled like that. Well, I've had a fun day. I hope you have too. Remember, everyone needs to love everyone, and always remember to take life by the horns and get you some. You just don't do certain things, it's, you know. But anyway, man. <laughs>